All right, so today I bring you some cool robots. So today we have this tank from Aptac. All right, this one runs on Raspberry Pi 3 or 4. You can control the whole robot, you know, movements up and down. Also has a camera feed as well too. We can close and open arms, rotate. There's a lot of cool things we can do with this. So I'll show you this right now. All right, so how are we doing, everyone? I'm Dario from UnibuckTNT.com, and yes, we bring you some more cool robots to the channel. All right, so this one is the AppTech in Robot Tank. Now, this one runs on Raspberry Pi 3 or 4. Now, I will, I will say the best thing to use is Raspberry Pi 3. Okay, no need of 4 4 work with this, right? So, 3 is perfect. And comes with the on-control board and even the battery as well as two. So the only thing you need to get is Raspberry Pi 3 and get some memory, like 32, 16 gigabytes of memory. And it's always recommended, or the easy way to be able to program the board is by adding a keyboard and mouse and a display just for the, for the beginning program. Now the instructions are pretty clear how to follow and build it. If you never built this before, I think if you follow instructions, you have no problem. Now, how long it takes? I say it takes a day. You know, a cool, nice day, or you know, it's a Sunday afternoon. And because, besides you have to put all the parts together, everything is acrylic, it's pretty much compressed here, right? Because this Raspberry Pi there and another board is real compressed. So let's look at the detail, a few things. So it has these cool LED lights and each time, this is called the Police slide, what I activated now, you can activate or deactivate those lights. Batteries, all right, includes these batteries. And everything else you see here, and a few things here, it has a camera. So the camera fee is right now, if I bring and I use this, uh, you guys can see there, it's a real time fee, all right, through, and actually it's trying to follow things. You see that green line is trying to recognize things too. You can do that as well, recognize colors. A lot of things you can do that. So it's, we get in real time from the robot. Now, another thing too, it has an ultrasound here. So you can go on a control distance. Or wow, if you put your hand, it will follow your hand. You can do all those things. We can move this too and up and down with the control board. Now we can move the arm, rotate this left and right, and graph and close the arm. If you look at right in the back, we can see there Raspberry Pi 3 right there. And right if you pick there, you see a USB board there. And a USB and the switch on and off is right over here. So everything is pretty much compressed in a sense. I had to put that together. And the nice thing, if you need to plug your monitor, that's the way I do. I plug it in here. How long it runs the batteries? I think it's a nice hour. Um, to charge by the way cans with batteries okay these are the 1850 batteries all right so cans we can with the with the batteries and eventually if batteries run out you will notice you no longer be able to to control this guy so it's pretty cool now one thing i did here i put the number 109 the number 109 is my ip address or the last three digits i know mine is always 192.168.1 that one that 109 can is, is I don't use it for a few months, I will not remember. If not, I will have to pl physically plug it into my display. Just try to see what is the IP address. But when you boot it up, automatically it defaults to 109 in my case. And you can control this with uh, an app if you want to, or you can control uh, right with your um, and, uh, right with your desktop. And I think it's much cooler. And if you connect it right with the desktop as well too. All right, so let's look at the control board now, all the software size. So it's pretty simple. And if you get a live feed, so the feed address is 109 and the port is 5000. Okay, you want this anywhere is part of the instructions. And we can see here now my CPU is getting red because I guess can't hit it up. But I get CPU, run us, you can get all that information. 
can we have all the control a few things we can do here as you see i hit light see i can turn on and off let's see the police uh, car light see i turn it off so we can you know control it this way or, or this way a few things here we can do i can you know bring down the hand or down and i can bring also the camera as you see i can bring the camera up or i can bring the camera down i can just grab a few things there or let's grab something now and you can see hey let it go all right let's see if it grab something here let's see if we can grab this thing up uh, loose a little bit let's grab my controller yeah you see that grab my controller lose my controller yeah all right so lose my controller so we can do all these things through here now the things we can we can do with this um and with this robot like i said before we also have what they call the follow the line so it has a sensors around the bottom and what those sensors in the bottom is the idea is you just create a track and we activate here track the lines so if i got here and i says track the lines all right so what's going to happen right here what's going to happen the robot's going to follow the line so if i do black tape all around it will just keep it follow all around police car motion get and it has the automatic too or the automatic and it follows you here too and if you put the hand it's follow your hand you little your hand this thing goes up and down also you have the, what the colors they can detect the different colors here through the camera if we can just here and check the speed and change the colors as well then we can control that if you want for me i don't use that much i'm just like the plane to just go and, and use the robot this way and as you see it's a lot of a lot a lot of fun this robot okay in in reality the only thing again that requires is robotic pie so when when you're going to grab one of this make sure you know just put the new shopping car uh, you need raspberry pi 3 and some type of memory i will think in a minimal 60 16 gigabyte will do it i think less than that will be a problem because you need to install raspberry and, and all the structures are there to have to build it so it's a lot of fun super recommended all right and that's it i'll see you next time bye